This episode of The Modern Rogue brought to you by Privacy. Head on over to privacy.com slash rogue, R-O-G-U-E, spell it right, you filthy scoundrels, and get $5 of real free money to spend on anything you want. I don't know, maybe at scamstuff.com, just saying. Backyard astronomy, lesson one. We're gonna point it at the sun. Okay, I'm no star scientist, but that sounds like a bad idea. Love the fact that you did not flinch. <laughs> I'm <laughs> ready. Extraordinarily dangerous. In fact, I melted things, but here, I'm gonna line it up. You can see in the shadow, I'm getting it roughly lined up, pointed at the sun. I'm waiting for your hand to start smoking. <laughs> this is right. Oh, there it is. That is the edge of the sun, my friend. Here we go. There oh, it is. Wow. You, you can see the heat shimmer and Whoa. everything? Oh, yeah. All right, you ready for this? What do you see right here? What are those, are those like sunspots? I what don't know. That? Let's check the space weather right now. Space weather? Yes. That's not a thing? It's You're a making that it's up? It's a real thing that's Sp happening right now. Space weather? There are two sunspots. Okay. You're Whoa. looking at sunspots, dude. That's rad. He should go to a sun dermatologist and get those checked out. Dude, is that amazing? That's cool. Dude, I'm like having a moment. You're giddy. I really am. It was 17 years ago, before my daughter was even born, I knew that I wanted to learn the night sky. With my janky ass backyard astronomy, I'm so stoked. We're looking at freaking sunspots projected as the sun goes down, and I get to catch two bandits tonight that I've never caught before. I've never seen Mercury with one of these. I've never S seen Sasquatch. the- uh, Three bandits today. <laughs> and if we're super lucky, maybe the ISS, I don't know. But disclaimers, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just reading the same stuff on the internet as everyone else does. For less than $500, $600, you can get, this is an eight inch Dobsonian. There are some that are lenses on both sides or mirrors. This is like a mirror that bounces into lenses. That's what a Dobsonian Yeah, means? sure. Okay. But all I know is that it was affordable. Later we'll talk about binoculars, which I think is the best way to get started. This was affordable? Because this looks like it, something you stole from a military facility. From what I understand, part of the reason that these are more affordable is because they are giant pains in the asses to move around. Oh. Which is why it's only a few times a year that I bother to pull this all the way out to set this up. And also apps are crazy cheap. We got this one that's going to tell us when the ISS comes. It's showing us the sun setting right now this is a particularly good time because we're only a few weeks after i was able to get some gorgeous footage of saturn and jupiter during that um that time they were real close to each other right oh, before right. christmas yeah. Yeah, yeah and then now the sun's gonna go down maybe we'll catch a little hint of saturn probably not because there's gonna be a lot of twilight light pollution maybe we'll see jupiter but mercury is the one i've never seen and then i don't know if you've have you ever seen like an early crescent moon waxing crescent they call it where it's just barely coming oh yeah. yeah 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 so so we'll catch that we can get mars anytime now you mentioned light pollution how much better is it like out here on the fringe of austin than it would be like in my backyard in the city the stat is one third of all of humanity cannot see the milky way that's depressing but out here on the fringes for now now, it's only gonna get worse from here. We should be able to see all, certainly all the planets. The sun is setting. Now because the, the sun, the moon, and all the planets kind of move along one line, the fact that we're already lined up with where the sun's setting means that hopefully we're in a good spot. But I know for sure I'm not gonna set up the camera until after the sun is gone. Actually, I guess we can now because we can aim it away from the sun. <laughs> I feel smart. <laughs> so as someone whose entire knowledge of space comes from episodes of The Expanse, yes. how would I get started on something like this? On just backyard astronomy? Binoculars. Get binoculars. They make everything bright. Yes, it won't be super huge magnification, but get the lay of the the land, like understand what stories you want to learn about and tell. You can see globular clusters, you can see the Pleiades. Uh, we'll get to that, but, but, but we're on a schedule. Uh, uh, where's the camera? Where's the camera? I got an adapter for this. So this is a micro four thirds adapter that will allow us to plug right into the telescope. But all we're really spending the money on is being able to show what we would normally see through the regular optics. So again, oh, okay. not very expensive. It's just so you can record exactly what you're looking at. And in fact, I'm gonna let Brant set this up because I don't know what I'm doing. All right, so just to test it, let me see if I can get that plane. Did you ever accidentally catch a space murder? 
while you were looking. <laughs> like Jimmy Stewart in Rear Window, but in space. I'd be afraid to like start one. Nobody steal that, I'm writing a screenplay. Okay. Oh wow, yeah, there Wait. it goes, just out of vision. Yep. To, to the right? Yeah. Okay, and then up. Is that it? Is and, that it? and just out again. It's it's because it's it's, fast. it's moving. It's it's a plane that's yeah. it's flying through the air. Oh oh oh! Contrails. Look at yeah. that. Yeah. Here. Oh look. Here. Oh no no no! Look 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 look. Oh. Wow. Right. I'll catch you. We got you in the act, America. Yeah. There's an app. We can find out what flight that is. <laughs> we'll just keep tracking it. Is that like a commercial flight, you think? Oh, sure. Okay, there we go. Oh, dude, it's working, it's working! Okay, so I'm gonna go back to right about where the sun's setting. What are we trying to get? Oh, <gasps> look, trees. Yeah, yeah, that's those trees. Telescopes that make far away thingies look close. That's, yeah, that's those trees right there. Okay, there might be moments that we have to actually hop off the deck because you can tell, like, just us standing here is shaking it ever slightly. Really? Yeah. Here's what's happening. Sun's going down. Behind that glow is Saturn. Hopefully, the glow will go down enough that we can see just a glimpse of Saturn. Probably not, though. Oh, okay, so not completely dark, but like a twilight glimpse. That's right, and also, like, right now, the moon is a crescent right there in the sky. You just can't see it because, uh, you know, too bright. What you want to do is kind of just look up and to the left, back up and down, through this, uh, this, this, I don't know, big finder? They probably have a word for it. What's the difference between these two? Uh, much less magnification. This one's used as a viewfinder so that you could get this one pointed in roughly the right direction. And that one's the actual distance. Right, right correct. This one's the, the, the big telescope. And then gotcha. on top of that, you've got different optics, including this one is a Barlow lens, which uh, basically two X's. Everybody thinks that what you want is big magnification, but the more you magnify something, really all you do is you take that noise and just blurry it up. Oh, okay. So that's not always the right answer. Oh, here we go. So, moon's starting to come out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there okay. we go. Okay, so now, see if you can get that centered in the viewfinder. Just move this? Yep. The whole thing? Yep. What could go wrong? Like you're pointing it at Alderaan. Too soon. Kika. Oh, too soon. We spotted birds. Lots of birds. If you're having trouble finding it in there, you can always squat all the way down so that you're actually leaning down, looking down the barrel straight up. Do you see it? I do not. Okay. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, you see the moon? Yeah. All right, get that moon right in the middle of those crosshairs. Okay. Now, remind. Oh, oh, I think you've got it. See if you can get, get it in there and then adjust the focus. Everything's gonna go to the right and down. So if you need to adjust it, you already know what direction everything's going. Oh, oh. There you go, you see it? Hey, that? look. All right, it's get the it, moon. Get it in focus. Right? Wow. Right? Oh, okay, here, I'm gonna. Yeah, give me so a little we're, nudge. So we're gonna nudge it to the right. There you go. Is that amazing? That's beautiful. Oh, see, wow. I'll just nudge it a You can little. see the craters and everything. Yeah. That's stunning. Us just standing here is wobbling everything every so slightly. Yeah. We'll try stepping off the deck and seeing how that looks. I love it when it's that early crescent stage because you get a real sense of the depth of scale on there. I can almost hear, thus spake Zarathustra. <laughs> That's amazing. While we're grabbing that, the moon looks fantastic just with a pair of binoculars, much better than you would expect. That's cool. Let me know the moment you see Literally anything shiny. <laughs> anything shiny? Yeah, yeah, anything planet-like. Okay. I keep seeing something, and then I realize it's a floater. Uh, oh, I yeah. <laughs> I mean, the good news is we get to see more and more of those as we get old. Yay! And then die. Yeah, it helps a lot to get a sense of 
drawing a line between the moon and the sun on that ecliptic so you know where to look. I do see something shiny, but I think it's like a... Oh, well, here's a contrail. Here, is there, that, that must be what yeah, that yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. So, another contrail. And I'll tell you what, a lot of people are like bummed at how many satellites are ruining the night sky. I, I just think it's more cool stuff to look at. So at this point, I think Saturn is below the tree line. We might catch Jupiter, but even if we didn't, like I said, I, I was able to get footage of those before. I've actually caught Jupiter before at uh, the University of Texas uh, rooftop observatory. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. And you were able to see all the, all the moons? The yeah, Galilean a couple of moons? Them. Yeah. yeah. How, how many moons do they think there are now? Like, oh man, I forget. 60 something? Yeah, there's, there's not, but there's four Galilean moons. Okay. Uh, Ganymede, Europa, Io, and Ringo. And you've never been able to catch Mercury. Never. You see Venus a lot, especially you yeah. know, morning and night and so on. But uh, even with a pair of binoculars, uh, you could sometimes catch Venus being a crescent exactly like the moon. There was one time we talked about the Venus transit when it went across the sun, but you know, not quite an eclipse because the sun is too big. Mm -hmm. But when we projected that, that was a trip. I guess that's just the time of year doing it at sunset. If oh, it at were. dusk, yeah. Well, and, and it's, you know, the planets, uh, uh, you know, they're called wanderers for a reason. They, they uh, different times of the year, they're gonna be at different spots. It just happens that it is really good nighttime viewing this winter. When does Mercury set? Mercury will set at 7.06 p.m. Central Standard Time on Friday, January 15th, 2021. That's amazing. So oh. that means we have uh, 10 to 20 more minutes but it's, it's there. I mean, the moon looks awesome. There for a second, I was like, oh, you can kind of see. No, those are fingerprints. That's funny. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that looks stunning. Oh, that looks awesome. I believe the colder air makes for clearer viewing. I, that's, uh, that seems right. That is really incredible looking. Looks just like the soundstage that Kubrick shot on. When <laughs> Jason, I don't know where to look, and I don't know what I'm looking for. I just know that we have 20 minutes if I'm ever going to catch it. You know, I'm guessing that there are probably some fancier new telescopes that sync to apps where it'd say, okay, now adjust by this far. Oh, sure, sure. As a matter of fact, even this one, you could at least uh, align it to various coordinates. Uh, they got super ones with a uh, super smooth, liquid motion, controlled, gravity weighted, easy to move. It's, uh, it's this one's cheap. And you can also, you can see the line of the ecliptic because of course the moon is just reflecting the sun. You just draw a line of where the sun went. Oh, that makes me wonder if we believe- If you can that. use that to find Mercury. I'm wondering if it's not obscured by the trees. Well, that's what I'm afraid of, because like I said, I've never caught it. I feel like I should go get my glasses. You might have time. Okay, I'm gonna grab them. Yeah. They're on the desk. It really is remarkable how long the sun, you know, ruins the sky. Oh, there it is. No, you did not. I just thought it'd be something funny to say because I got my glasses. <laughs> there it is, the sky. <laughs> the sky. <laughs> yeah. So would we see it as just like a, a shine? I think we'll see it as basically a bright star. Okay. How can you tell the difference between stars and planets? Like planets like flicker? <gasps> oh my God, I think I found it. I think I just found you son of a bitch. Uh, come here, come here, come here. I definitely see it in the viewfinder, and it's definitely a planet. Tell me, tell me when you see oh, something on the screen. You yeah, see something? Uh, yeah, uh, it just wobbled on there for a second. Need to go up a little bit, I think, because it disappeared on the top of the screen. Because it was on there. There was a little like. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, just got a glimpse of it. Oh, there it is. There it is. Wait, wait, you see it? Yeah. Oh, you got the motherfucker. Oh. Okay. All right. Let's get it in focus. That's right, Mercury, you son of a bitch. I don't know why we're calling, hurling profanities at the well, planet. He's so fast. Oh. oh. We're, we're going to have to set it and run away. Okay, I'm going to get down. Okay. 
Wow, yeah, you could definitely see it as a disc. Uh, oh, uh, I guess that's the answer to your question, is there are very few stars that show up as anything other than points of light, even with good telescopes, but a planet will show up as a disc. Oh, step it off. There it is, oh, there it is. Mercury, you magnificent bastard! I read your book! <laughs> Nice. Now I'm worried. Like that's definitely Mercury, right? I, I, <laughs> wow, it's really fast. Yeah. Well, I mean, of course, that's that's our planet spinning around, right? Yeah. But 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 here. So at this point, Sun's down, Saturn and Jupiter. I mean, that's got that's that's all that's left is Mercury. Oh, that's so sexy. I'm gonna get a picture of me getting a picture of Mercury. Yeah! Okay, that's about as dorky as I can get for one night. <laughs> I'm not gonna make you wait around. I'm gonna see if I can get the ISS. You're gonna try to signal them with a, the signal mirror? <laughs> with a green laser? <laughs> they get <Yeah>. mad? <laughs> they start texting? <laughs> well, somebody in Austin, Texas knocked that off. <laughs> It'll be an international incident. Yeah. <laughs> All right, real talk. This is the first one of these where I'm glad Jason's not here because I just wanna to talk to the other dads out there. I got multiple teenage kids and they're at that point where they're all asking for the credit card infos because they want the plugins for the bleep blops and the, the cuboids or the mind stanks. I don't understand none of it and I don't trust none of it and I don't have to trust none of it because I ain't gonna give my real credit card to nobody. What I do is I generate one-time burner cards over at privacy, privacy.com slash rogue. You sign up, install a little plugin, you can generate cards like bah, 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 single use or you can limit it to one particular merchant. You can set like, secret hidden surprise endings for things. For example, let's say they want a subscription for their weird stuff like animetears.info.pizzaorg. And I'm like, I don't know what that is, but I know it's seven bucks a month. I'm gonna set a limit of $14 on that. And I'll ask them in two months when the kids come running back saying, dad, how come animetears.pizza.info doesn't work anymore? I'll be like, oh, did that? Let me fix that for you. You get to set these limits on there and you don't have to worry about it leaking out into the universe because your privacy stays private. I'm telling you, man, you get to be a dad wizard. And by the way, if you need me to spell it out for you, I'm phrasing this as a family type situation. Works the same with your professional teams. Just substitute employees employees for children. I mean, I do all the time. Wow, that was too much. <laughs> I shouldn't be putting any of this on the internet because my kids are gonna see this at some point and realize I'm a bad person. So do me a favor, before this gets taken down, head on over to privacy.com slash rogue. That's R-O-G-U-E, spell it right. When you sign up, yes, it's safe, secure. It's all the protections that you have. You can't overspend, but more importantly, you'll get $5 of real money you can spend on anything you want, including animetears.pizzainfo slash org. I guess somebody's probably registered just now. Thank you, privacy. Offer and link in the description below. You got your glasses, right? I don't have, I don't have time to go get them. Uh, you got 40 seconds, 40 seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, start looking for a shiny thing. Look for a shiny thing. Hopefully we see with the naked eye. Ah, it's behind the tree. Ah, I can see it though. It's flashing. It's flashing and moving. Damn it, I can see it, but I can't capture it. Hold on. Oh my god, I caught it. Oh, do you see it? Yeah, I do. Like at 11 o'clock over the moon. Wow. It's kind of reddish. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh, there it is again. It's only a blur. Goodbye, space people. That's cool. Oh. And that's the ISS. Yep. Rad.